Now these ones are a little different. Notice they have square roots on both sides. If I have a square root on both sides, the same rule applies. I'm going to square both sides to get rid of the square roots. So I'm going to have 6y plus 8 equals 9y plus 7. I now have to solve that. So if I'm going to solve it, I want my y's on one side, my numbers on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract my 9y and minus my 8. If you wanted to subtract your 6y and subtract your 7, you could, as long as you move them to opposite sides. So negative 3y is going to equal negative 1, right? Solving that, I'm going to divide. See, there's your dividing. <laughs> y is going to equal positive one-third. Now, these ones we have to check because sometimes you get one answer that's positive and one answer that's negative when you check them and then you get a no solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our calculator and we're going to do six times one-third, which was our y value, plus eight, and then we're going to do 9 times 1 third plus 7 to see if we get the same number or not. So use your calculator. So I'm going to put equal 9 1 third? No, nope. you're just going to do this side. We'll do that one first. And then do this side and see if it does equal each other. Put my calculator down. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so 6 times one-third plus eight gives you what? I got a ten. I got a ten also. Then I'm going to do the other side. And sometimes you won't get those nice whole numbers we just happened to on this one. Nine times one-third plus seven. I got a ten there too. So that is true. This answer checks. We always have to check these ones, because sometimes they don't check. Sometimes you'll get a 10 and a negative 10. <laughs> now, I'm going to move the board up here for number 14. What looks different from number 14 and number 13? 13 and 14. What's the difference between those two? We want number 14 to look like number 13, and it doesn't, does it? On number 13, it looks like this one, where the square roots are on both sides. We want the square roots on both sides, so we need to move this one with the minus over to the other side, which makes it a positive. So I'm going to make this the square root of 6x plus 13 over here. And since it's a minus, it's going to make it a positive, and then it's going to look like the previous problems, right? So now we can get rid of our square roots. <laughs> We're going to square both sides, and what would we get? We're going to get the 8x plus 15 equals the 6x plus 13, right? Because the squaring just got the square root out of our problem. So if we wanted to solve that, we're going to? We're going to move 6x. Minus my 6x. And minus 15. Minus my 15. So we're going to get? 2x. Minus 2. 2x equals negative 2. And then we're going to? Divide. Divide. So x equals negative 1, right? Now, we always have to check our answers. So we want to make sure this is going to be equal to this. So we're going to say, is 8 times negative 1 plus 15 equal to 6 times negative 1 plus 13? Yes, 
next is, because I get 7 equals 7. So that means our answer is good. X does equal negative 1. 15 looks the same kind of thing, right? What are we going to do? We are going to back, oh, you put 7B plus 6 equals 5B plus 7. So we're squaring each side, so 7B plus 6 equals 5B plus 7. Then what are we going to do? Then we are going to move negative 5 over to huh? 7, and the 6 is going to be minus 6. So we're going to get? Negative 2B. Whoops. What? 7 minus 5? 7 minus 5? Oh, 2. 2B. I mean, just 2. 2B equals? 1. 1, and then we're going to? Divide. Divide. So we get V equals 1 half. But then we always have to make sure we check it out. Some of them won't check. So, how are we going to check it? Um, 7 minus 5 Whoops. plus 2. Where are we getting that from? <laughs> but down there, down. 7 plus minus 5. This is my answer. Oh. <laughs> but I need to check my answer. How do I check my answer? Oh, you're going to do 7 times half. Times a half plus Plus six. Six. Does that equal? That's going to equal five. Mm-hmm. Times a half. Plus seven. Exactly. I got to check to see if those two things actually equal each other. So I'm going to grab my calculator and I'm going to check it out. So seven times one half plus 6 gives me 9.5. We get 9.5 equals 9.5, so it does check out, so we're okay. So we want to get used to having